It's hard to believe during the golden age of family sitcoms, with the likes of The Cosby Show, Family Ties, and Growing Pains, there were also the little-known oddball reject shows, which were in some cases, quite thankfully, strangled in their crib. Here are some more of those never-before-seen groundbreaking shows that never were. Kung Fu Pizza. Ah, gotta love the politically incorrect 80s. Without it, you never would have had the very short-lived family sitcom Oddball Reject Kung Fu Pizza, which featured a Korean family. Yup, they even got that wrong. Kung Fu is from Chinese culture, obviously. Moving to America and dealing with all the differences, like the food. I.e. Pizza. Gross. We want our fermented cabbage goop. A boy named Soup. If you think the last family sitcom Oddball Reject was politically incorrect, how about a boy named Soup, which was off in so many ways? Like since when is Soup a girl's name? Well, since Hollywood showrunner Boy Wonder Dave Ingalls came up with this shiny turd. The show follows the life of a boy named Soup, who despite being a boy, feels inclined to dress up like a girl, not all that crazy, well, it is when nobody related to the show knows anything about cross-dressing or transvestite culture. Harold and Mop. If you think Hollywood mad genius Dave Ingalls was finished with a boy named Soup, the very next year he floated the very same idea. What the fuck was his obsession with this shit? Changing the young, confused boy to an old, confused grandpa in this classic trainwreck family sitcom Oddball reject Harold and Mop. I mean Mop, again, isn't even close to a girl's name. Be sure and tune into the next part of the golden age of family sitcoms The Oddball Rejects, when we will explore even more family sitcom Oddball Rejects. Sayonara! Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.